Tablet 3, The Key of Wisdom Thoth points out the importance of wisdom, equating it with power and for humans to avoid the ego trap of being prideful, remaining open to knowledge irrespective of the source. We are counseled to follow our hearts living an extraordinary life of love, abiding by the law and to stand up and speak out against evil. Greatness among men is characterized by possessing knowledge and gentleness and sharing it with the broad community. A clue to start the path to freedom is to distinguish by study the difference between matter and energy. The energetic key to immortality is speci specified similar to our physics concept of the law of conservation of energy. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It merely changes state, which is true for us electrical meat modems, which they designed as well. We are analyzed through having a star in our body that can be spawned to a bright flame leading to the understanding that we are eternal energy derived from the infinite one. Matter is designated as a transient mirage. Continuity and change are the wheels in perpetual motion. The seven seated in the flower of life chamber mentioned in the previous tablet, the masters of the cycles, are listed along with their specific functional roles. The numbers assigned to the beings appear to coincide with a total of nine galactic or planetary cycles, only seven which are present, ranging from three to nine, versus one to seven. I believe these beings are affiliated with the Mayan underworld frequencies, of which there were nine. Therefore, the numbers could represent the Mayan third sun cycle to the ninth sun cycle. This would imply our chakra frequencies are controlled by them, similar to what I disclosed in the Anunnaki of Nibiru with the added affiliation that the Hindu gods were functionally controlling the same quantized energy levels for their flock. Could the seven masters of space-time cycles have an AKA name as a Hindu deity? Probably so. Let us continue. I, Thoth the Atlantean, give of my wisdom, give of my knowledge, give of my power. Freely I give to the children of men. Give that they too might have wisdom, to shine through the world from the veil of the night. Wisdom is power, and power is wisdom, one with each other, perfecting the whole. Be thou not proud, O man, in thy wisdom. D discourse with the ignorant as well as the wise. If one comes to thee full of knowledge, listen and heed, for wisdom is all. Keep thou not silent when evil is spoken, for truth like the sunlight shines above all. He who oversteppeth the law shall be punished, for only through law comes the freedom of men. Cause thou not fear, for fear is bondage, a fetter that binds the darkness to men. Follow thine heart during thy lifetime. Do thou more than is commanded of thee. When thou hast gained riches, follow thou thine heart, for all these are of no avail if thine heart be weary. Diminish thou not the time of following thine heart, it is a board of the soul. They that are guided go not astray, but they that are lost cannot find a straight path. If thou go among men, make for thyself, love the beginning and the end of the heart. If one cometh unto thee for counsel, let him speak freely, that the thing for which he hath come to thee may be done. If he hesitates to open his heart to thee, it is because thou the judge doeth the wrong. Repeat thou not extravagant speech, neither listen now to it, for it is the utterance of one not in equilibrium. Speak thou not of it, so that he before thee may know wisdom. Silence is of great profit, and abundance of speech profiteth nothing. Exalt not thine heart above the children of men, lest it be brought lower than the dust. If thou be great among men, be honored for knowledge and gentleness. If thou seekest to know the nature of a friend, ask not his companion, but pass a time alone with him. Debate with him, testing his heart by his words and his bearing. That which goeth into the storehouse must come forth, and the things that are in thine must be shared with a friend. Knowledge is regarded by the fool as ignorance, and the things that are profitable are to him hurtful. He liveth in death, it is therefore his food. The wise man lets his heart overflow, but keeps his silent, his mouth. O oh man, list to the voice of wisdom, list to the voice of light. Mysteries there are in the cosmos, that unveiled fill the world with their light. Let he who would be free from the bonds of darkness, 
first divine the material from the immaterial, the fire from the earth. For know ye that as earth descends to earth, so also fire ascends unto fire, and becomes one with fire. He who knows the fire that is within, himself shall ascend unto the eternal fire, and dwell in it eternally. Fire, the inner fire, is the most potent of all force. For it overcometh all things, and penetrates all things of the earth. Man supports himself only on that which resists. So earth must resist man, else he existeth not. All eyes do not see with the same vision, for to one an object appears of one form and color, and to a different eye of another. So also the infinite fire, changing from color to color, is never the same day to day. Thus speak I thoth of my wisdom. For a man is a fire burning bright through the night, never is quenched in the veil of darkness, never is quenched by the veil of the night. Into men's hearts I looked by my wisdom, found them not free from the bondage of strife. Free from the toils, thy fire, O my brother, lest it be buried in the shadow of night. Hark ye, O man, and list to this wisdom. Where do name and form cease? Only in consciousness, invisible, an infinite force of radiance bright. The form that ye create by brightening thy vision are truly effects that follow thy cause. Man is a star bound to a body until, in the end, he is freed through his strife. Only by struggle and toiling thy utmost shall the star within thee bloom out in new life. He who knows the commencement of all things, free is his star from the realm of night. Remember, O oh man, that all which exists is only by another form of that which exists not. Everything that has being is passing into yet other being, and thou thyself art not an exception. Consider the law, for all is law. Seek not that which is not of the law. For such exists only in the illusion of the senses. Wisdom to, comes to all her children, even as they cometh unto wisdom. All through the ages the light has been hidden. Awake, O man, and be wise. Deep in the mysteries of life have I traveled, seeking and searching for that which is hidden. List ye, O man, and be wise. Far neath the earth crust in the halls of Amenti, mysteries I saw that are hidden from men. Oft have I journeyed the deep hidden passage, looked on the light that is life among men. There neath the flower of life ever living, searched I the hearts of the secrets of men. Found I that man is but living in darkness, light of the great fire is hidden within. Before the lords of hidden Amente, learned I the wisdom I give unto thee. Masters are they of the great secret wisdom, brought from the future of infinity's end. Seven are they, the lords of Amente, overlords they of the children of morning, sons of the cycles, masters of wisdom. Formed are they not as the children of men. Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine are the titles of the masters of men. Far from the future, formless yet forming, came they as teachers for the children of men. Live they forever, yet not of the living, bound not to life, and yet free from death. Rule they forever with infinite wisdom, bound yet not to the dark halls of death. Life they have in them, yet life that is not life. Free from all are the lords of the all. Forth from they came, forth from the logos, instruments they of the power o'er all. Vast is their countenance, yet hidden in smallness, formed by a forming, known yet unknown. Three holds the keys of all hidden magic. Creator he of the halls of the dead, sending forth power, shrouding with darkness, blinding the souls of the children of men, sending the darkness, blinding the soul force, director of negative to the children of men. For is he who loses the power, Lord he is of life to the children of men. Light is his body, flame is his countenance, freer of souls to the children of men. Five is the master, the lord of all magic, key to the word that resounds among men. Six is the lord of light, the hidden pathway, path of the souls of the children of men. Seven is he who is lord of the vastness, master of space and the key of the times. Eight is he who orders the progress, 
weighs and balances the journeys of men. Nine is the father, vast he is of countenance, forming and changing from out of the formless. Meditate on the symbols I give thee. Keys are they, though hidden from men. Reach ever upward, O soul of the morning. Turn thy thoughts upward to light and to life. Find in the key of the numbers I bring thee. Light on the pathway from life unto life. Seek ye wisdom, turn thy thoughts inward, close not thy mind to the flower of light. Place in thy body a thought form picture, think of the number that leads thee to life. Clear is the pathway to he who has wisdom, open the door to the kingdom of light. Pour forth thy flame as a sun of the morning, shut out the darkness and live in the day. Take thee, O man, as part of thy being, the seven who are but are not as they seem. Opened, O man, have I my wisdom. Follow the path in the way I have led. Masters of wisdom, son of the morning, light and life to the children of men.